In other news, finished my bike. Well, for the most part, I finished my bike. Looking pretty good. Got that color me and old Blake made up. It's coming along pretty nice. Only got a couple little things to do. And then she'll be done. Having problems with the clutch right now though. Y'all see that that motor? If you want to know how to do that, go look at the go look at the link that I got in the description. We got a 21 inch front wheel. A lot less bulky rear fender. And my girlfriend named her Kawa Sexy. Hell yeah. Anyway, I'll do another video on this bike later on. So what we're gonna do real quick is explain how a turn signal circuit actually works. This way, if you have a chopper or maybe a bobber or whatever other vehicle that you have that didn't come with turn signals, maybe you live in a state where you have to have turn signals to get it on the road or whatever your reason, maybe you just like the safety. Either way, this video is going to be able to explain how it's actually done. Now before I do this, this is working with electricity. If you don't work, if you've never wired anything before, please don't do this. Go to somebody who at least knows how, okay, because I'm not going to be responsible for you burning your bike up. It's not a complicated circuit, but uh, if you decide to do this, do so at your own risk. So, I'm going to start out first you're going to need a 12 volt ignition source. Okay, so we'll make the, this right here. This is going to be a joint. All right, it's a joint in the wiring. Okay, we're going to have a relay. All right, and then we're going to have a switch. This switch in the center is going to be the off position. The relay is going to be three pin. Okay, we're going to put an R on that for relay, and then just in case anybody wants to pause this so that you know. And I'm also not going to make do it upside down. I'm going to do it to where you can see it. So, this is what we have so far. Of course, we're going to need some lights, so these will be our lights, right and left. Alright, we're going to put switch, right, left, okay. Now, this, I'm going to go over these components here. Obviously, you know what turn signals are. You know their lights. Um, if you're going to wire in LEDs, you're going to need some resistors. They sell them online. They're pretty cheap. All that does is gets the flash rate down so that it's not flashing all kind of crazy like mine does. I just don't have mine in there. I, I don't, it doesn't really bother me. But some states, they'll pull you over if it flashes too fast. So if that's the case with you, you're going to need some resistors to put in line by your turn signal. Okay, this switch, it's either going to be a three-way on-off on switch. Uh, you can get them from Walmart or wherever. I think I actually have one. Yeah, right here. <clears throat> So this is a three position toggle switch. This is where power goes in, power out, and power out. In the middle, it's off. This way, one side is on. This way, another side is on. Okay, so off, on, off, on, off. You get the point. It's like four bucks. You can get them all over the place. So, I don't have a relay to show you, but the relay that you're gonna want is going to be a three pin relay. They make a five pins and seven pins and I don't know, probably ten pin relays. That's not really necessary for this. So you just get a three pin relay. The three pin relay that I use has a ground. So we're going to go ahead and illustrate a ground right quick. All right. So you're going to need to ground the relay. 
you need to ground the relay. Okay, actually I think I can do this upside down. Three position switch, okay. For this, this is gonna be, this is gonna represent your power to your switch, or to your relay, and then out of your relay to your switch. So at this junction, we're gonna have 12 volt ignition coming out and going, out, going to the switch now I mean the uh, relay so these these relays sometimes you'll get a relay in its position just like it's illustrated one two and three sometimes you'll have one and then two and then three just read on the schematic for it it'll show you exactly how to exactly how to uh, wire it up so you're gonna want your 12 volt ignition source running into your relay this brings power to your relay. Since it's grounded, now technically, it's not a complete circuit, but it is powered. So your relay is powered now. So coming out of the relay at that junction, it's gonna come up and then to usually the center post of your switch. So you got 12 volt ignition going to your relay that is going to your switch. So now, this is a complete circuit almost really almost um, but this is a, a complete circuit between your ignition and your switch all you have to do at this point is add your turn signals so this color is going to represent the left turn signal circuit left turn signal wiring so you make another junction there it's going to come over and it's going to go to your left turn signal all right now we're going to have the right turn signal which will be this color I keep saying this color because I'm colorblind so you're gonna have a junction at the switch and it's gonna come over and it's gonna go to your right turn signal this is as easy as a turn signal circuit actually is this you can power more lights you know just wire them in to where you have another light and then another light and then uh, you can I mean you can add how many lights you want typically there's only four turn signals and now you know that but hey whatever do you right so this will be right rear and then left rear left front right front okay so that's your turn signal circuit. That's as easy as it is. It's not complicated. I made this video because a lot of people ask about this and it's almost like nobody knows how to make a turn signal circuit. So, uh, you, you know, there's a lot of confusion about it. It's not a hard, it's not a hard thing to do. It's not a complex system. It's very simple. It's very, I mean, it's pretty quick to do. It's not, I mean, you've done it in a couple of hours. But this applies to anything with a 12 volt ignition source or a 12 volt power. You can run to a battery if you wanted to, but I wouldn't. But you want you, I mean, you could. Another thing to look out for is whatever 12 volt ignition source this is. Say you come directly off of the key, okay? That's you're gonna want to put a fuse in here if you do that, okay? So I'm gonna write on top of here in case y'all want to freeze this video, pause this video, whatever. And I'm gonna put from key equals fuse and we're gonna say a 10 amp because that's pretty standard on a turn signal circuit okay so if you come from the key you're gonna want to wire in a 10 amp fuse if not if you're coming from something say like uh, I don't know your headlight or what don't pull it off your headlight because it'll pull power from your headlight sometimes um, but uh, your brake light circuit or say say whatever you know um, you don't there's already a fuse there but any either way you do it just make sure that you have a fuse for your power other than that it's this simple it's very easy there's nothing to it all right so there you have it the next videos that we're gonna end up doing are gonna be uh, more tutorials they're not gonna be pieces of paper they're gonna be actual hands-on videos where I completely disassemble a, a CD carburetor and rebuild it or rejet it or maybe a whole series where uh, one video is cleaning then rejetting then uh, performance upgrades that you can do at your house for free almost uh, there's gonna be a lot of other cool stuff so stick around check it out 
like and subscribe if you want to get updates of when we put out videos we're about to start doing a lot more and they should be bring y'all some pretty good value you should be able to learn a pretty pretty good bit of stuff so if you would like to go check out our store the link is in our description there's also a discount code for 15 percent off it is youtube 20 they wouldn't let me put 2020 for whatever reason so youtube 20 is a discount code to get you 15 percent off anything in the store so go check it out and we will see y'all next time thank you